Hi guys, Ben here. Welcome to the match day vlog for Liverpool vs Manchester City. It is the biggest game of the season so far, no doubt about it. It's currently Sunday morning, 9.15am, about to get the train up to Liverpool. Uh, it's a late afternoon kickoff, obviously, so a bit of time to kill beforehand. Um, booked these train tickets a long, long time ago for quite cheap, so pleased with that. Anyway, look at these cookies that I made yesterday. Get an amazing on the way up there. I mean, call me much like a cooking channel. Beautiful. Anyway, yeah, me and Ollie Bond. Um, I'm going to have some lunch in town. As if you've seen my preview, I'm pretty nervous about this one. I'm going for a 2-2 draw, um, and I would settle for a draw to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, great day ahead. Cannot wait. And do you know what? I'm, gonna be, I'm actually quite excited for the two-week break after this, because it's been quite exhausting to sort of forget a game every three days. Um, but anyway, let's get this one out of the way. Let's hopefully get a result. And, um, you know, title race is uh, certainly going to be affected today. So yeah, just enjoyed a bit of lunch here in Las Iguanas. Um, Liverpool was really, really busy today. Um, the Giants thing, obviously, the fact that I've never seen it so busy on a Sunday afternoon. Um, but yeah, enjoying a nice chilli. Um, it's currently about half two, I think. So yeah, two hours for the kickoff. Um, and yeah, the rumour is that Lovren starts and Gomez plays right back. Um, which is, if it's true, I'm, I'm a bit uneasy with it, but I'm not going to start complaining about team selections because yeah, the manager knows more than me, but yeah, bizarre one if true. Don't think, you know, Trent didn't play too well in, in Naples, but um, yeah, it'd be strange if that is the case. So there we have it, the team that um, was rumoured is in fact the team. Gomez is at right back, Lovren at centre back, and the rest of it's pretty much as expected. Man City team is actually quite surprising. Um, Mendy is in at left back, no Sané. Uh, Mara starts for them, so I think it is going to be 4 3 3 against 4 3 3, but we'll see about that. It's, it's quite surprising, you know. I know Napoli targeted Trent and he was poor the other night. Um, but, you know, given how well Trent played against Man City last season at Anfield, it is quite surprising. But yeah, got to trust the manager. Um, both, you know, one or two surprises in both lineups. Didn't necessarily expect to see Mendy start today. Um, and no Vincent Company either for Man City. So, I mean, yeah, it's fascinating. It's also very fascinating. Obviously, fingers crossed. <laughs> So I'm just outside Lime Street Station there. I've just, I've just come out of Anfield, Liverpool nil, Man City nil. Um, not a thriller, of course. Um, I've just done an Instagram Live, by the way, with my initial feedback on the game. So if you're not following my Instagram, do, do so, Ben might say. Um, yeah, I think mixed opinions, really. The, the narrative is always difficult to set when, um, when it's a draw, when it's a nil-nil draw, and you don't know whether to be happy or sad about the result. You know, most times a draw at Anfield, you're, you're annoyed about it, but here, Man City, the champions, um, not not a disgraceful result. You know, we got lucky that they missed the penalty. Um, we didn't create any chances. It was a pretty flat, drab game, not what we were expecting, but a good tactical battle, an intriguing game, if not exciting. Um, and we didn't, you know, front three still not firing. The midfield for me was the biggest concern today. I thought Henderson was okay. I just got a bit frustrated with his off the ball movement. I thought that the, the space that he was getting into and the, how he was showing for it wasn't in um, the areas that would have been able to move us forward. Uh, maybe, maybe that's just me being a bit critical of him. And you know, because I like Jordan Henderson, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely not one of these guys that's slagging him off on social media all the time. I thought he played okay today. His passing was good, um, but got a bit frustrated with his with his off the ball stuff at times. Van Alden was great. I thought he was our best player. Milner struggled. Cater struggled when he came on. Defensively, I thought the fullbacks, Gomez. Uh, good second half, not so much in the first half, but I thought even going forward he was okay second half. Robertson isn't in, a, in the best form, you know, 6 out of 10 from him. Van Dijk was okay, but makes a stupid mistake to give the penalty away. Lovren was good second half in particular, you know, another contender for man of the match. Uh, the front three, Firmino couldn't get into it. Leave a good storage when he came on. Mane was quite quiet. Salah tried and tried, but they just shut it down. I thought Man City shut us down really well, defended nicely. Um, and it's a point, you know, a point that both sides probably be happy with. Both sides would have taken before the game. We're still in touch with the leaders, you know, 20 points to make games, three goals conceded. I'm happy with that. We need the international break now. We need to kind of regroup. Um, there'll be loads of cliches out about that, and that's, that's fair. We do need this break. We will regroup, and we will get better. You know, the front three are a concern, but I think 
it's silly now to start saying drop Salah, drop whoever, drop Mane, start playing whoever. Um, Huddersfield next, then Cardiff, opportunity to really play ourselves into form. I know I keep saying that, but this this runs out the way. I was, I was saying we'll play ourselves into form um, eventually, but now that this runs out the way and we've got some you know tasty looking fixtures coming up uh, in terms of being able to rack up points, um, hopefully Salah can show um, that he's not just a one season wonder. Hopefully Manny and Firmino can show that they're still there or thereabouts. And hopefully the Reds can show that they can actually start scoring goals because we've not scored many at all this season, but we've only conceded three. So it's a decent base to build upon. Us, City and Chelsea are all on 20 points. Um, and we're the ones that have had to go to Spurs and away at Chelsea and play Man City, whereas they've dropped points uh, against the likes of Wolves and West Ham, respectively. So we're the ones that aren't losing or dropping any points against the lesser sides. So I think we're still in a good position and I'm feeling positive. <laughs> It's midnight, I've just got back to London Euston Station. I'm gonna get a cab home to Stratford because can't be dealing with the tube at this time of night. Um, so yeah, that's the, uh, that's the second phase of fixtures for the next international break. A break now for Liverpool, um, two weeks off, and a break for me, um, which, do you know what? I'm really grateful for it, I'm being honest with you. Um, I don't know what's kind of the other side of the international break in terms of my videos. Um, just been thinking about it on the train. And yeah, just me being real, just me being honest. I don't know what um, what's to come. Um, it's becoming a bit of a ball ache um, making videos. So yeah, I don't know. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Maybe I just need a break from it. And obviously two weeks off now will be useful. Um, still, everything's, everything's great, but just feel like, you know, as, as, as I said when I, when I was recording too much um, during the games, it, it was taken away from my enjoyment a bit. And now it's kind of having to go back to the hotel room and do your video and travel around and make sure you're vlogging as, as you're doing it. I don't know, it's just, it gets in the way of, of, of your day a bit, so. And you know the the, the previews have been, have been the same old formula for so long. Um, it's becoming a bit tired. I'm sure you guys would agree. Um, yeah, it's not been inspiring as of late. It's just me sitting in front of my desk and talking. It's, there's only so much of that, that that you can do before it gets a bit boring, you know. So I don't have the editing skills or the or the desire really to do anything else. So. We'll see, is all, is all I'll say. If you want to follow me in the meantime, I'm on Twitter, I'm on Instagram, I'm on Snap... Well, not on Snapchat, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on Instagram, really. That's, if you want to see what I'm doing, follow me on Instagram, uh, as Ben might say. But yeah, otherwise, today's been today, and... Um, yeah, good point. And yeah, really excited for this international break, to be honest. Let's see what happens, shall we? Um, yeah, bye-bye.